let's talk about some CSGO unwritten rules. Because quite frankly, some of you guys need to see this video. Let's get right into it. All right, the first unwritten rule is if you are given the bomb, it is your job to plant, right? I see too many people, when they get thrown bomb for no reason, they just chuck this thing in the spawn, right? And quite coincidentally, quite coincidentally, guys, it always happens to be some of the worst players in the game. It is the worst players doing this, right? So if you're given the bomb, just do your job and, you know, plant the bomb and do your best. Obviously, there's going to be situations where you shouldn't have it, and that's totally fine, but I see too many players just being selfish and, you know, not understanding that it's their role to... To buy the gun or to drop the bomb secondly do not buy the deagle on pistol round this gun is not meant to be bought on pistol round and if you buy it you are just throwing the game especially on ct side there is no reason for it on ct side you are trolling if you are buying the deagle because a usp is one shot to the head and the deagle is just not worth the purchase so stop buying the deagle Guys, I'm begging you, stop buying it. Guys, and this goes without being said, 100%. It goes for the R8 as well. Do not buy the R8. It is not worth it. If you're using the R8, you're trolling, man. The Deagle is just so much better. Stop using that gun, man. Stop using it. But yeah. All right, the next one is a very important subject, and I need to talk to you guys about this. You do not steal somebody's knife kill. If you see your teammate going for a knife kill let them go for it if they die they die guys if you see him about to stab that guy in the back and get his beautiful moment that he's been waiting for the whole entire day don't ruin your poor teammates dreams and hopes by you know stealing his knife kill and ruining his his mental guys it's not worth it it's not worth it man just let him get that knife kill make him feel good get him some extra money and you guys will be set so that's another rule that i see people breaking now the next rule is something that is super important, especially if you ever want to play professionally inside of this game. If you buy utility, use it. Use the utility you are buying. If you're buying util, do not just run out and die without throwing a single piece of it. If you're going to run out and die, at least drop your utility for your teammates to use it. That is the least you can do. And you are playing the game wrong if you are not you know, throwing your util before you die. And... There's zero excuse. There's zero reason why, why you're not. And I don't even want to hear any reason or excuse why it might be happening. But yeah, guys, that brings me on to my next point. If you are bottom fragging, right? If you are bottom fragging, you are not allowed to complain, right? Bottom fraggers are not allowed to complain. Let the complaining happen from the top fraggers. Let the complaining happen from the middle of the scoreboard. If you are bottom fragging, then it is not your role on the team to be whining about what is going on. There is plenty of room for whining to be happening for the other players. If you cannot drop, you know, enough kills to hold your weight on the scoreboard, then just play the game and focus on yourself. You don't need to be focusing on what other people are doing. So just keep that in mind as you're playing. <laughs> but yeah, guys, another unwritten rule is if you are in spawn here, right at the beginning of the round and your teammate is broke and you have you know sixteen hundred dollars you have a thousand dollars like guys drop your teammate balance the money out so that everyone can get an even buy and you're not sitting with you know insane amount of money and they're broke so just keep that in mind and guys it's it's quite simple man just spread the wealth a little bit just spread the wealth be a you know be a philanthropist and you know just give give us some money to people uh, just drop them that AK, drop them that off, and make them feel good about themselves. But yeah, guys, this brings me on to my last, last unwritten rule inside of CSGO. And that is never, ever buy the auto sniper on T side. If you will buy the auto sniper, I know it looks appealing. I know it looks so nice and fun. But if you buy the auto sniper on T side, you are trolling. Buying the auto sniper on T side is absolutely criminal guys it is a hundred percent criminal and you will be locked up in prison for buying this gun all right so i just want to let you guys know that there's zero purpose to it and the reason i tell you this is because on t side there's no situation other than retakes maybe where the auto sniper is more effective than the op right 
and quite worse that that's bad enough in itself but quite worse it's more expensive than the op and you're also giving the cts a chance to use it where on the ct side it can actually be quite effective it can actually be really good uh stop pushes and rushes so yeah guys like there's zero reason to buy it on t side and honestly you have bad bad manners if you are buying it you are bming if you're buying it on t side guys if you break this unwritten rule you're gonna lose the match guys i'm serious you're gonna lose the match because it's just not something you do and you're gonna anger the other team bro you're gonna you're gonna anger the other team and make them quite upset so just wanted to let you guys know uh, these are the unwritten CSGO rules. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you would have added to this video. And maybe we'll make a part three of this series. So let me know your comments. I'm always reading feedback. I'm always looking at what you guys have to say. So don't feel like your comments are ever ignored, guys. I'm always reading them. I'm always responding. You want to leave a hate comment? Go ahead. You want to leave some support? Go ahead. I'd, I'm here for you guys. I'm here. So... Daily upload number 26 of the year done, boys. And I'm always live on twitch.tv slash kojomo1. Check me out. Support me over there. I'm always uploading on my TikTok. I'm always here for you guys. And lastly, you can catch me competing in ESCA Advanced this season. So I love your guys' support. I'm out here grinding for you. And I appreciate all the love you guys have shown me. So I just want to make these videos and provide some content back for you because of the love you've shown me. So let's go guys and also i am quickly i am running a giveaway right now if you guys want to join us a 35 dollar giveaway for a 2016 sticker so i will link that below do not miss your chance to win this there's there's multiple ways to enter this giveaway so there's there's room for everybody to win this and i want to get back to the community that gives me so much so thank you guys so much you guys have a great day thank you for watching and i'm kojo and i'm gonna head out peace